beloved and welcome to your message from the big god okay god thyself i thank you so much for your time i thank you for joining me okay beloved let's further tap into this message and find out what's here for you why were you spiritually led here okay why did you resonate with the title and furthermore why um <clears throat> Okay, this, that's weird. I just lost my train of thought. Anyway, if you're keen or interested in booking me for reading, I feel like that was symbolic to this message, by the way. You see, see what I'm, I'm doing it again. So, okay, if you're f further interested in, it's just the energy, right? I guess it's the energy. Interested in booking me, you will find my email listed on the screen, okay, if you're keen. I offer, um, readings as well as one-on-one -on -one, um, sessions the readings i offer dream interpretation spiritual path readings love readings as well as messages from god and then one-on-one -on -one sessions are via skype zoom call facetime and whatsapp video call okay so god wants me to quickly just to tap into this energy i feel like there's a sense of urgency like like there's a sense of urgency within somebody here you know, God is saying, first, the narrative is there is no feminine energy here. This is about a masculine energy, right? This is a message about a masculine energy with regards to you. So it's most likely that you are a divine feminine watching you or just a feminine energy, right? Yourself. So let's tap in. God is saying this will resonate, right? If you are uh, a divine feminine only, though, right? If you are... Um, well on your way to your empress status quo you know empress status quo is you know getting your shit together right <clears throat> just healing on a healing journey finding yourself within yourself and not anyone else it's sort of like this is for those who take care of their body those who are celibate those who um take sex personally you know they don't use sex as a quality of life they sort of wait you know, for the right person. I'm speaking to those type of people. This is for the y'all, right? So if you don't resonate with that, then this most likely won't resonate with you as well. Um, if you're not somebody that is just taking life very seriously and, you know, doing this shit for real, not fucking around, not being on some messy shit, just doing this shit, trying to be the best at it and trying to do it to with a good-hearted spirit, right? So, uh, beloved, I feel like my divine feminine, I feel like you've attracted a masculine energy here who wants you as, like, their mistress or as um, their wife or both, right? So, God is saying I must differentiate the narratives. So, it's like the narratives for your realities are as follows. God wants me to um, differentiate the narratives, right? So... The first narrative is you're dealing with a lover boy energy, right? And you are tied down elsewhere. You can't entertain this person as much as you would like, or there is restriction within the connection. Um, obviously, there's some secrets here, you know, maneuvering in secrecy and doing shit in secret, right? You could be married or in a committed relationship, you know, or this is someone who you're not meant to be doing this with, right? That's the second narrative. This is someone that you could, you, you're you not supposed to be engaging with. This is like, maybe it's a bad guy or someone's dangerous here or someone's bad moves or they're just forbidden fruit, right? Someone that you are not meant to be, it's like, nah, you shouldn't be doing that type shit. So this is definitely something that you shouldn't be doing with somebody. Also, it seems, right? Because I feel like this the beginning of this it's like the beginning of this i feel like it's feeling like that right now but i feel like this energy will change like so those are the narratives god wants me to give more of the narratives right it's sort of like to those who are dealing with forbidden fruit energy someone you're not meant to be dealing with someone you know is bad for you or a bad guy bad dude dangerous or just someone who you're not meant to be engaging with in the way that you are this this is for you and then to those who are in commitments and marriages and you're obviously having an affair right 
this is for you as well. So God wants me to proceed. So take your narrative and, 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 and put it where it fits. Or, you know, you celibate, right? You've been celibate. The third narrative is maybe you've been celibate for a while. You haven't had sex in a while. Or you haven't um, been sexually active, you know. This is also for you, right? Okay, God said nothing more, right? So, okay. We have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So, this is definitely divine feminine energy, right? So, God is saying that wherever you lie in the spectrum of the narratives that I've just given, you have a place in this message. So, there is a message here intended for you to hear. It's all like a, a conglomerate because I feel like God is saying you're dealing with the same species of a man, the same breed of a man. Uh, like, you're dealing with, you guys are dealing with the same type of man, like, you know? They think the same way, they, they move in the same likeness, they have the same mindset, like they operate with the same analogies or ideologies and concepts, right? Hence, I can tap in within this way. So let's further see what this energy is about. So this species of a man, God wants me to just say we have two two on the table. This species of a man, of, of a man um, this breed here, is someone who lacks empathy for other people. Like they struggle to genuinely empathize with other people. And God is saying that there could be a clinical based sort of or psychological based problem with this masculine energy. Like, because like this is something that takes over them. It's sort of like if it's not beneficial for them, if they don't see, it's sort of like they can't sympathize with anything that doesn't feed into their spirit, their ego, their way, their will. So if they see a homeless person, this would be someone that wouldn't mind shitting on them. Like not, not literally, but like just throwing something at them or mocking them. Or, like this can be, a, it's like a sort of like a toxic masculine, right? They, 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 they are some toxic shit, you know what I'm saying? So here we have the higher forms. This is Taurus energy. That's very significant that we have the higher form here. Followed by the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, the Justice as well here, same Libra energy. We have Pisces, we have Scorpio energy, um, Cancer, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. Okay, so, and Leo, strong Leo, the Sun, the Six of Wands. So, there's sort of like a reciprocity of or a lack of reciprocity within the situation like you both are not on the same page uh because i feel like you are in a position where i feel like there's two narratives of this like in in this connection with this person that you share right this connection you share with this person it, it's like there's someone that is more stable and grounded about the situation or the circumstance the scenario that you guys are in together and there's someone that is way in their emotions you know wrapped up in emotion so you could be the one that's wrapped up in the emotions or you could be dealing with someone that is wrapped up within their emotions with regards to this connection. And you could be the one that's chilling more grounded or having more of a clearer perspective or being able to um, move or operate from that place, right? But I feel like, you know, those are the two narratives here. There's the, the number eight, 11, five, and four on the table as well as six, 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 Six. Okay, six, six, six. And as I'm saying that, I'm hearing six, six, six. So, um, okay, we have the number seven, the number ten. So God is wanting me to go back to that, like the, what I'm hearing. So this is definitely someone you've had a sexual encounter with. God is saying that this person has been exposed to the sexual experience of you for sure. Okay, there's been like engagement within that regard you guys have had that sort of connection or you know that happened you know type shit and now i just feel like somebody here is hooked 
you know, you could both be hooked onto one another, but someone is more logically based about it, and someone's more emotionally inclined with it, or psychologically, you are more psychologically more programmed, and this person is maybe emotionally wired, or just switch the roles, right? Switch the, the genders, switch the narratives as they resonate with your reality, right? Make it fit with it. It's understandable for your story and what you're dealing with and what you're currently facing and going through you know what you're experiencing so it's sort of like this person feels like you are not on the same page because there's a certain level of consciousness that you have attained for yourself in life where you know a lot you know what i'm saying you've been through a lot you you have xp with this life shit and it's sort of like i don't need you energy but i want you and they feel like that's the energy you come through with but the unreciprocity of it is whereby they feel like they need, they need you or they need your sexual presence. It's sort of like exactly that. God is saying, I got it as I said that. Like, this person needs your sexual presence. Like, without that, I feel like someone's like a, a dog with a bone. They'll keep chasing or they'll keep lusting or thinking about it a lot. Or it'll end up just controlling them. That lust, that desire of you or your sexual presence right but i feel like um to a certain degree you might be the same way you know or might have been depending on the reality of your situation but i feel like you have it's sort of like someone here can withhold themselves and someone here can't someone here can detach someone and then there's some, someone in this connection can't right someone can let go someone else can't like you know what i'm saying So place yourself where it fits for you. But I see that where this connection is headed, it's like this masculine energy is feeling like at a loss. Like they they don't know what to do with you. They don't know what to do about you. They don't know how to handle the situation. Um, a part of them does feel a little bit compromised or like they could be compromised or something could backfire or this energy of the connection is too heavy for them to kind of handled or channeled properly you know they feel like it could fuck them up in the end or they could end up at a loss like kind of they could end up losing themselves within you type energy god is saying you might have the same particular fear but it might be based on like on a different sort of understanding that you have of your own life right losing yourself in this individual you know, God is saying that's deadly, like, shit. Because I feel like the sexual tension within this connection is, like, really... It's, like, almost dangerous type shit. Like, the chemistry or the... The one-on-one, -on -one, like, type shit. Like, that... I feel like it's... It's almost, like, predatory. Like, there's sort of this animalistic, fierce energy here you know coming from not only just this masculine but i feel like the both of you you know you know so god is saying um take your time with this connection and figure out where you stand with it and what you want from it and make your decision based on that don't make a decision based on lust or temporary pleasure or a thrill-seeking sort of way of, of, of looking at things, you know? So God said round two, right? Let's tap in further to this energy. Let's clear this old energy and uh, tap in further to it, right? Let's see what else is waiting for us within this message and for you, beloved, right? For you. I'm not dealing with this at all. Okay. Let's tap in here. Okay. So definitely, um, I feel that straight away, this person sort of wants like to take a different approach with this situation. They feel like taking a different approach would change like 
how things are going within this connection or the circumstance, right? This, they feel like, I feel like you deal with the masculine energy that is way in their head with regards to this situation. And they feel deep emotions, right? They deeply feel emotions towards this connection and towards you. So I feel like they're trying to figure out like sort of like a strategy, a game plan to do something with you here in secret or in secrecy. You know, you know, someone kind of wants to like, like planning like a sweet escape type energy, right? So this is definitely, you know, sort of like playboy energy. Because I feel like you're dealing with a, a very, with the Knights of Cups here, Ace of Pentacles reversed. It's like the Three of Cups. It's, it's sort of like this Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and the Justice. It's like... This is a sort of masculine, God wants me to give like an example, a, an analogy, a reference point, a case study, right? Um, about a situation where let's say there are two friends and then there is one friend that falls in love with the, a feminine and then they start to date the feminine. Mind you, let's say the other friend is single. They're just maybe mingling or they're not in a committed relationship. They're not doing anything with anyone, right? And then let's say that the, that single friend gets introduced to this masculine's feminine that they fell in love with the friend, right? The friend introduces them to their girl, like, hey, this is my girl, like, or, you know, my wife, or this is my partner, or, you know, and then let's say it, it becomes love at first sight for the friend unintendedly, you know. So God is saying, so what then? What would the friend do then? Would the friend stay knowing that they're in love with this feminine? Mind you, it's, it's, this feminine is already dating the friend, like, right? Or will, you know, he disappear and just lay low, go ghost? You know, and, and, and be honest with himself about it and sort of keep his distance or just, you know, play it cool. Um, I don't know, for however long, right? God is wanting me to come back to the message and, and reference it back to this where I feel like this is the sort of energy where it's a tricky situation. That example that God asked me to give, that, that analogy, it's, it's basically God saying what you should take from that is this is a very tricky situation and this is a very tricky motherfucker you're dealing with here too. Someone's shysty. Like someone's real life shysty. You know what I'm saying? You cannot decipher this person, categorize them, nail them, put a nail on them, put a hit on them, sort of like figure them out. This is someone that they channel a lot of different energies and they take on different forms and they... They do a lot, you know what I'm saying? And this person's energy just, it transforms itself every every day within the hours of the day. Like someone's not, like someone's a straight shape shifter, chameleon type energy, right? God is saying this could literally be you and the masculine together, but you are a different way with it and they are a different way with it. Maybe you're high vibrational with it and they're very low vibrational or, uh, you know, but nah, God is saying yes, exactly that. Yeah, the same cards came out again. It's it's sort of like the cards I was like looking through here. I have these. The it's the Ten of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, right? It's Pisces energy as well as um Virgo, right? So Virgo is the giver, the server, and then Pisces is is, is the surrenderer. Sort of like they. It's sort of like they give, but they give in a way where they surrender. Like they just, they give themselves to it. And then Virgo is more like logically inclined, not emotionally inclined. So Virgo tends to maybe psychologically or intellectually sort of like gracefully surrender themselves. But they don't know how to, you know, with the Virgo energy, it's sort of like 
an energy or someone that doesn't know how to surrender themselves as like this Piscean energy where they can give themselves to a situation or a person or a thing or a drug, like you name it, right? So it's basically energy. You gotta say it's fluidity of the the the, the message that is permeating here. It's that, you know, I feel like there is like a deep sort of connection going on here, but it's very forbidden. Something's wrong. Something's not meant to be done here, right? And God is saying that this could vary, like the reasons could vary as to why this is forbidden. But because of the narratives I've given, you know, take those where it fits. Why would it be wrong? God is saying, why would it be wrong? Just think about that. Why would it be wrong for this connection to take place the way it's taking place? You know, or for this con connection that you have with this person to take place, period. Why would, why would it be wrong? You know, God is saying it's either they're a bad guy, they're bad for you, this is dangerously toxic, or the spirit of lust is controlling the connection, right? So God is saying, be mindful. Wow, I just put the emperor up, and I literally just put it on top of the empress, right? You know, I feel like this is a very tricky situation here. Like something is very complicated, you know, more like complicated. Tricky is like based on maybe the behaviors of the connection, the behavioral aspect of the connection. But in terms of the emotional aspect, like something is really complicated. Like it's complicated. Like it's really heavily complicated. I feel like this masculine feels this way. They're trapped within themselves about this connection within that regard. They feel like this is very tricky. It's it's so wrong. It's 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 like be mindful, right? You gotta say be mindful with whatever this is. Cause I feel like something might not be as worth it as it seems in the beginning. And then it's really worth it in the end. Or vice versa. Something might not be something might seem like it's all this and all that, but like in the end, it's something else. So God is saying that make better choices and decisions for yourself and don't be unwise in, in the things that you do. Make sure that you are clever and strategic in your way of thinking about life and not just led by the spirit of lust or pleasure or pleasurable activities or just taking things too far or getting carried away, right? So God is saying just place your narrative where it fits you. God is saying to those who this is resonating with in a way that like this could definitely be like forbidden fruit energy. God is saying that be wise, right? Don't be dumb. Because I feel like someone here could really be planning on really just stigmatizing you or getting you in a place where you are sexually addicted to their energy so that like they can control you like that, right? And control your decision-making process, your thought process. They feel like they, they can do this with their sexual energy. So God is saying, be mindful, cool, okay? Be mindful, because I feel like this could be someone that's desperately trying to get you to themselves or get you in a certain state of being or see you in a certain way, but they're not, it's sort of like they're not, it's not happening the way they want. So they're going to use other ways. So God is saying, be mindful what you get up to with this energy. Make sure you play your cards right, right, beloved? Don't end up compromising yourself, your dignity, your integrity, your life here. Make sure you move in secrecy or in a way um, that won't compromise you. God is saying that I should just deliver the message, okay, and not, like, say anything, but... It's sort of like one of those situations where it's complicated, like, like I feel like real life based complication here, like on some one on one shit, something is really complicated, something can't, 
it's sort of like this connection can't be what it needs to be because of the complications that surround it. So it's sort of like now you guys are stealing each other's energy, going behind the scenes or doing something in like discretion, low key, right? God is saying plant the right seeds. Because anything that you sow, you will reap in the in the future, right? It'll come back to you type shit. So God is saying make sure that all that you do is based on, you know, the real life things, not just fantasy based. It must really make sense. God is saying this shit got to make sense, right? I'm really heavily getting like, just be wise, you know? Be wise. Don't be led in this situation, you know, by different spirits that surround the connection or different spirits that might take control of you within this aspect when you're having, you know, sexual activity with this masculine, whatever sexual activity, right? However way it goes, God is saying don't be don't allow yourself to to lose yourself in it. So much so that they control you, King of Wands, the Empress Reverse, like, because someone here could literally want to control you with their sexual energy, and they feel like it's working, or it has worked before for them, or it works. So you could be thinking something else about it, but someone here just wants control, and at the same time, they want love, they want gift, at the same time, they also want this to be what they want it to be, but at the same time, I feel like the spirit of lust or the spirit of pleasure, the spirit of sex within this connection is like intensely, immensely like chemical. I feel like it has to do with the human brain, like how you two just, how things happen within that regard or how you both can tap into one another's energy. It's sort of like chemical, like it's, it's biologically based. It's like some DNA shit. I feel like, Okay. Yeah, something is... I feel like the sex is real deep, right? The sex you have with this person is real deep. Hence, this, this is coming out like this. The sex is real deep, but it's very spiritual. So God is saying that um, make sure that you take control of yourself before you are controlled by another entity, another spirit. Because I feel like... This could definitely be one of those relationships where you just can lose yourself very easily to this masculine or they've, they've lost themselves in you already and they want you to lose yourself in them or you both lost, you've lost, you are lost in one another type shit, right? It's like there's that energy going on, like that two of swords, not a cups where like there's this diff, but also there's this complication or there's this withholding, there's this lack of understanding of certain things or I feel like something could be real wrong real life wrong not meant to be happening but at the same time God is saying that that's how it starts it starts off like that but something is going to escalate into something else like it might be like, imagine, God is wanting me to give an example. Imagine a one night stand turned real true love type shit. Or like someone like, something that was meant to turn out this way, turning out a completely different way. Something that was like, hectically just complicated or just really superficial, ending up being very deep all of a sudden. Or just this, this deep dive of, of emotion, right? Sort of like the surrender within that regard because I feel like also this could be very like some sexual healing type shit for real like We have seven seven on the table. We have the number five five. We have You know six six as well I keep hearing six six as I said that as I say that like I don't know what y'all doing, you know, with this person here, but something is like, like something, so, something is like, you know, like when something is, I don't know, man, 
something is too crazy or too demanding of like a side of you or it's just something is wild right the sexual energy you got going on with this person and i feel like it's, it's so wild that it, it drives you both wild that's what can make it dangerous it's sort of like what would be putting fire and fire and then expecting earth or something like it's sort of like you put you put a flame to to a match you know what i'm saying i feel like this is that that sort of connection a flame to a match or a match to like a like some a spark to 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 oh my god oh my god guys i don't know well i do know but like you know what i'm saying this is some other shit we have the number one and 18 the number 10 here the number two you know god is saying and the number eight It's like this is an energy of like something is too good to let go of. That's why, that's why I feel like you are with it. The both of you. God is saying it could be neutral, it could be one-sided, right? Where it's just it's too good to just I can't I hear someone going like I can't I hear somebody saying, Man, I can't let this go. Like I, like what do you expect? Like after that, like you think I'm just, just like forget, like nah, like like that's you talking shit right there. Like nah, I ain't doing none of that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, like someone refusing to let go of your your energy, your sexual presence. Your it's sort of like not just you. It's sort of like the connection, the spark. There's this fire. Like they sort of like oh my god. Like I just I I don't know, man. Something's wild. I feel like something's real crazy. You have the star reversed and the five of wands reversed. This is like Aquarius, Aries energy. Like it's those fusions of energies. God wants me to speak on it and include Taurus while I'm at it. So Taurus is the sign of devotion, right? Aquarius is the sign of in-depth understanding. You know, devotion and in-depth understanding. And then the five of ones reversed is sort of like letting go, surrendering to a circumstance, a scenario, a situation. So devotion and surrender to an in-depth understanding of, of this connection. Something is, I feel like this shit is wild deep. I feel like you experience some kundalini, sacral chakra awakening here with somebody. You know, it's either they experienced it through you or it was mutual based. And now something is just too... Like, I, like, I don't know. Jumbled up, complicated, like something is really good here. I feel like this is some really good sex, guys, like for real, like on some other shit. Like it's, it's the type of, yeah, it's, it's the type of sex, right? Um, where like, if you're, as my feminine, like you can break a nail, you know, while having sex with this person, you know, it's very, I wouldn't say violent, but it, it, it's, it's intense, man. Like, it's like a fight. It's like, like, yeah, I can put you down. Well, I can, you know, I can turn this, I like it's some, you know, the five of wands is like, every position like type shit like no cap like for real <laughs> like it's like trying everything in the book and being really passionate you know when it comes to sexual activity time like, up bdsm and all that shit like for real right and gotta say it could also be spiritually based or spirituality you know based here the, the form of in-depth understanding you have of this connection it could really touch your heart like that. Something could be really sacred. Like, I feel like you have a hold on, on one another. And this hold is, it's intense, right? 
So like when it's, God is showing me a vision, right? I'm seeing it where two people coming together and then they both maybe have a lot they deal with, a lot of frustration or a lot of burdens or maybe someone here works too much or they work a lot or there's just this and then they these two people come together and then they both relieve Maybe someone is also emotionally burdened or they just go through a lot of shit, like a lot of traumas, you know what I'm saying? And then when a sexual encounter happens between two people, they both sort of let it out like that, like whatever they've been holding on to, like it comes out like that. That's what makes it healing, you know? I'm being asked to pull the sun, like the sun is like this ambiance, this embrace of the total chemicals in the body sort of like aligning in a way that's like, it, act, it creates sort of an activation. That's why I feel like there was an awakening that was had your know, Kundalini awakening, you know, a sexual awakening where something could have exceeded expectations and it was it's just now it's now it's like I'm not letting it go, like I'm I'm not, you know, like type shit. Like something was too good, now it's like no one wants to let go. But I feel like this there's the number 13, 3, 4. You know, 10, 10 on the table here. This sexual chemistry, God is saying, make sure that, you know, you take it easy. Just pipe down on that. You know, take it easy when it comes to this um, connection. Don't go too hard on it or don't, y'all, don't, don't, don't do too much. God is saying, just be mindful, right? like there God is saying there's just no solidified advice as yet because something is ongoing it's in it's in process something is happening right now and God is just saying what's to come maybe you would you will need to make a real life based decision that might compromise something here you might have to sacrifice something something you might have to let go of something let something go to to keep this person in your life you know because I feel like the hold, the hold is deep, and there's sacrifice with the cost of this, because the complications surrounding this require sacrifice. The complications surrounding this connection require the both of you to compromise something, or sacrifice something, time, energy, you know, someone, or a way of being. Just there's a form of surrender that needs to be had here in order for this to keep progressing in this way. And I feel like you both are keen on doing it. You know, so so long that, you know, you are both, God is saying so long that you are both healthy, you're not being reckless with it, you're not being malicious or trying to, it's like make sure that it's, it's make sure you're being good people with it, you know what I'm saying? Don't get too caught up in the villain aspect of this or the diabolical nature of this or just the dark-sidedness of this connection because it can get there. God is saying, the connection, the connection you have with this person can easily go dark. Like it can easily just something can be real grimy fast or shiesty or something can switch or backfire. You know what I'm saying? Because of maybe unwise choices and decisions you both make that compromise something here. You know, this could definitely be a third party situation going on, right? God doesn't want me to look at those, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, God is saying, you know, this is a type of connection where you need to pray that you can make it out. Like, you need to pray that you can detach from this person's sexual energy. Because I feel like Something has a hold on you here. And something has a hold on this masculine. This this is intense. Like this is like some strong sexual energy or strong sexual interaction. Something is like like hours like type shit. Like, okay, y'all. So God is saying just be mindful, you know what I'm saying? Don't do things in excessiveness because you wanna it's like 
let it be of healing then if that's what the intention is don't 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 let the don't let it backfire and it be something else like if it's healing if it's a transaction where you both just healing one another and finding healing in one another and then you call it quits and it's just that let it be that the type shit that's just an example god is just wanting me to say that's just use it as an analogy where something doesn't need to go too far it doesn't need to be dragged out it doesn't need to be extensive you know if you both find healing within one another in your sexual energy when you need to and and that's just that from it you both both benefited no one is feeding off of another no one is leeching no one is doing some other shit behind the scenes to manipulate someone's energy so that they get addicted to their sex or nah as long as it's just both genuine like genuine lust guys from a, a place where you really in a sticky situation it's complicated something's real life tricky and real life based not just doing it for the thrill for the fun god is saying you know once you get what you need from the connection make sure that you close the cycle don't continuously drag it out to be something that it's not meant to become. You know, in this lifetime, in your lifetime, you're not meant to... Something, maybe it's just meant to be sexual. You know what I'm saying? Or sexually based. And then there's meant to be healing just from that. And then a, 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 a sense of moving on. Afterwards, right? God is saying, depending, you know, whether or not you would want to separate from this person, there's going to come a time where you're going to have to. God is saying, we have 9 9 on the table. Yeah, something might have to, like, end here or evolve in a different way. Like, there's going to be some shift that happens, you know. But God is saying, be kind to one another, be cordial, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't be villains like you know don't be grotesque and sort of just lose yourself and lose your mind with it like even though i feel like that, that's where y'all hit it but like not no not y'all but like the connection like i feel like this this has already happened you both have already lost yourselves in one another or you know it's it's one side that someone has lost themselves within this connection but God is saying it's definitely like a transaction. God is saying it's definitely mutually based where, like I said, you might have been, you, your, your way of losing yourself within this connection is like God is saying the narratives are formless of how the both of you have lost yourself in something. Else. It's not that it's not mutual. God is saying it's, def, it's definitely not one-sided. God wants, God wants me to correct that. So this is definitely mutually based. So yeah, you know, God is saying, with time, just make better choices and decisions moving forward. Don't be unwise or just do things based on lust. Make sure that you plant the right seeds because if it backfires here, you know, you don't want to be caught up. Make sure that you just do, like, be good with it. Like, something must remain sort of harmless, you know. Don't extend, like, it shouldn't, that extensiveness it's only necessary if it's tested, but I'm getting like this connection, like nah, like there's too much. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like time will tell. God is saying I shouldn't conclude it as anything because I don't know either. So God is saying just time will tell when it comes to this connection and what's to come. You know. Yeah, but there's some real deep sexual interaction here you have with someone, a sexual connection. And, chemistry sexual chemistry is intense it's spiritually spirituality based here god's saying you know spirituality based you know it's 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 like more than just sex it's it's something else you know but yeah god doesn't want me to continue further with that you know i'm not allowed to channel any further you guys get the picture right this was me from the prophetic vessel show i'm sending you love guys stay safe out there you know be wise make better choices and decisions and really tap into your divinity within yourself every day. Figure this shit out of life and take your time with it. You know, we all make mistakes. We all do things that, you know, might, like, it's like, sort of like, don't beat yourself up, you know what I'm saying, for 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 this. It's it's like, it's life. God is saying it's a part of life to, to walk this sort of path where you end up in this situation. Like, yeah, you know, um, 
so something is not as serious or as it's just like a transaction i feel you know very healing here transformative thing that if strategically planned out you know god is just wanting me to edit there if you keep on booking me my email will be listed on the screen um i offer dream interpretations spiritual path readings love readings and messages from god right and then my one-on-one -on -one sessions you know i currently offer those but i'm gonna close those soon so if you are keen on that you know tap in and find out what's up via skype zoom call facetime and whatsapp video call those are the social media apps i utilize right i'm sending nothing but love from me prophetic vessel and from the prophetic vessel show bye